Our solar system is surrounded by a huge magnetic structure, and I'm not talking about the Oort cloud, but a real superbubble that we're in and whose magnetic effect is absolutely fascinating. Be sure to stay tuned to the end to see a new, super exciting interactive map of this structure and if you like it, I'm galactically happy about a thumbs up and a comment, because that's how we get the YouTube algorithm to show this video to even more people. Thank you guys and welcome. Our solar system is located in the local bubble. A huge void about 1,000 light years across that spreads out around our star. And this superbubble is not the figment of the imagination of megalomaniac chewing gum manufacturers, but the truly astonishing result of one or more supernova explosions. Now, for the first time, researchers have achieved something truly amazing. But before we discuss what that is, let's briefly jump back into the subject of superbubbles. Such bubbles are not uncommon in our home galaxy, the Milky Way. Imagine the galaxy like a Swiss cheese, there are lots of holes everywhere. And these holes are relatively common and are created when very large stars explode, a so-called supernova. In a supernova, the star continues to expand like a bubble of chewing gum until it eventually bursts. After the explosion, no sticky chewing gum remains, but a beautiful supernova remnant. Much more important for our topic, however, is what happens during the explosion. The shock waves from the explosion have blown away everything around the star. Like a galactic snowplow, charged dust particles and gases were piled up at the expanding edge of the shock wave in the local bubble. As a result, many dust particles and gases are still stuck to the edge of our superbubble, forming some star-forming regions where stars can form from the available material, such as the Taurus molecular cloud. This is an extensive collection of gas and dust. And since the shock waves have blown everything away, a large void remains inside. This is often referred to as the local volume and it is basically nothing more than a largely dust-free space in the direct vicinity of our sun. And this space around the sun is the local bubble. It formed a few million years ago. I know that's not a particularly precise figure, but that's just the way astronomy works sometimes. A million years is not particularly long, in cosmic terms. And we don't even know exactly whether one supernova was involved or several. Let me know your theories in the comments. Maybe there are other superbubbles in the Milky Way whose origin is better understood. In any case, the pulsar Geminga is one of the culprits for our local bubble. A neutron star in the constellation Gemini, which was formed in a supernova explosion and is one of the closest pulsars to us. And this Geminga apparently once swept through the solar system and caused the relatively low density of interstellar matter. A sweeping pulsar like this would also be handy to have at home. Then my wife wouldn't always tell me to tidy up. Okay, so now we have to assume that the local bubble was formed by the explosion of one or more large stars and that the space around our sun is yawningly empty and the sun is sitting in the huge bubble. Theo O'Neill of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says, The universe is full of such superbubbles which promote the formation of new stars and planets and influence the structure of galaxies. By learning more about the physical processes that shape our local bubble, we also learn more about the evolution and dynamics of such superbubbles in general. Thanks to the work of researchers from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, a lot has been known about the structure and size of the bubble since early 2022. The bubble resembles squash chewing gum, has a size of around 1,000 light years, and the sun is located pretty much in the middle of the local bubbles, in a region called the local fluff. And now comes the great news, the entire bubble is permeated by complex magnetic fields. For the very first time, astronomers have now published a unique 3D map that shows the bubble's magnetic field in unprecedented detail. Isn't that cool? I always find it incredible how far research has come and what we humans can be capable of in a positive sense. Well, we know about the Earth's magnetic field, which protects our planet from dangerous solar radiation. Without the magnetic field, the sun's light particles would simply hit cities in an uncontrolled manner and this could result in the odd lockdown, or blackout. So thank you, dear magnetic field. And the magnetic field that has now been mapped is basically also a kind of protection. Because it protects our entire solar system from dangerous cosmic space radiation. 
In this respect, it is very good and very important to know all about the structure, researcher Alyssa Goodman says. We have known for a long time that magnetic fields play an important role in many astrophysical phenomena. But studying them is notoriously difficult. And now the researchers have achieved another milestone and created this 3D map of the magnetic field of the local bubble. To do this, the astrophysicists analyzed data on the polarization of radiation in the Milky Way from the Planck satellite and ESA microwave telescope. The radiation oscillates in certain directions, and these directions provide information about where the dust is located at the edge of the local bubble and how it is magnetized. The famous Gaia satellite, which optically scans our entire sky in three dimensions, was also involved and recorded the polarization of starlight. The result of this data analysis was ultimately the first three-dimensional magnetic map of our home bubble. And the really cool thing is that the researchers have made an interactive version of it freely accessible online. I've put the link to it in the video description below, so you should definitely take a look, because it's very important not to always just move around in your own bubble, but also to look at it from the outside. Although I have to say that I am very reluctant to leave my astro bubble. But anyway, what exactly do we see in the illustration of the bubble? In the interactive map, you can click the magnetic field on and off and you can clearly see that the surface, i.e. the area around the super bubble, is strongly magnetized. Inside, on the other hand, there is hardly any magnetic activity. And the orientation and intensity of the magnetic field largely coincide with the topography of the local bubble that has already been measured. With the findings of the new 3D map, the researchers can now explore our super bubble in a completely new way. This new knowledge is important, for example, in order to learn more about the formation of stars and planets, as magnetic fields have a very, very large influence on the flow of gases and dust. And this is ultimately the basis for the formation of new stars. This means that the magnetic fields can regulate the conveyor belts that transport gas and dust into the star factories. In other words, Magnetic fields can influence where a new star is ultimately formed, or, to put it in the words of researcher Goodman, with this map, we can finally explore in more detail how magnetic fields influence star formation in superbubbles. Not only that, the magnetic fields probably have many more effects that we are not yet fully aware of. After all, space is full of the aforementioned Swiss cheese of superbubbles, which influence the formation of stars and planets and therefore also have an impact on the overall appearance of the galaxy. So this 3D map is another step in the right direction to further investigate the cosmic phenomenon of local bubbles. I don't know about you, but this new map is absolutely pioneering work for me. Think back to the first maps of the Earth, when the sailors came back from the New World with their impressions and mapped everything. That was revolutionary back then. And now we live in an age in which it is no longer the Earth, no longer the Moon, no longer other planets in the solar system that can be mapped, but interstellar spaces. I always find it absolutely fascinating how much knowledge mankind has already acquired and that curiosity simply cannot be tamed. If you're one of those curious people, you'll want to know what the eight potential alien signals received by an artificial intelligence are all about. You can find out all about it in the video below. Be sure to check it out and if you want to support my work a little, you can also browse through the space store. There you'll find the shirts from the videos, real meteorites, plus planets, and much more. Every purchase supports my work. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, guys.